championship belongs to the Los Angeles Lakers. Hello, Lakers Nation. Your Los Angeles Lakers have quite a formidable big three now with LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and of course, Russell Westbrook coming to town. Now it's going to be on GM Rob Palenka to round out the rest of the roster. Fortunately, we heard a few days ago that if the Lakers did something big this offseason, they were going to have a long list of veterans ready to sign up in the hopes of winning a championship. And I think bringing in Russell Westbrook, that certainly counts as something big. So who exactly could be looking to join the Lakers? Well, we finally have a list of players. We've heard a few already. We've heard maybe Carmelo Anthony and Rudy Gay, but Brad Turner of the LA Times gave us a much more complete list of the guys who are ready to join your Los Angeles Lakers. And I think there's some real gems in here. All veterans, but some guys who could really help out. Let's dive into it. So Turner mentions that the Lakers need shooting, says a name that keeps coming up is Patty Mills. That would be a tremendous guy to get, especially if you could find some way to get the Team Australia version of Patty Mills because that guy is unstoppable. Pat, but Patty Mills, solid shooter, veteran point guard, ball handler, great guy to bring in off the bench behind Russell Westbrook, but it doesn't stop there. Former Laker Wayne Ellington is a shooter who has interest in rejoining the Lakers. Also former Laker, Trevor Ariza, former Lakers champion, could look to come back. Could be a solid 3 and D player, as well as veteran Andre Iguodala. Look, both of these guys are past their prime. Most of the guys on this list are going to be. They're all into their 30s. But remember, these are veterans looking to win a ring. But the Lakers are going to need 3 and D style wing defenders. Andre Iguodala and Trevor Ariza certainly could check that box. Carmelo Anthony's name has been tossed around a lot lately. He makes a ton of sense for the Lakers, especially now that Kyle Kuzma has moved on. And according to Brad Turner, he's just waiting for a call from the Lakers when free agency opens on Monday. That sounds extremely promising that we're probably going to see Carmelo Anthony in purple and gold can knock in the three ball, mostly plays the four at this point, but still a veteran scorer and a guy that you can put in at the end of the game can knock in free throws. I think he could be a nice fit for the Lakers. But guess what? There's another former Laker that it looks like could indeed be coming back. And that is Dwight Howard. According to Brad Turner, he is ready to return and play the center position for the Lakers. Now, we've heard that Anthony Davis is probably going to log a lot more minutes at center for the Lakers this next year. In fact, that was something that LeBron James and, and AD spoke to Russell Westbrook about. Remember, when you've got Westbrook on the floor, it's really hard to run a traditional five with him because of your lack of floor spacing in the half court. Now, Westbrook does a not really nice job getting the ball to the big, but it would certainly help if you had a floor spacer out there. So I think when we see Westbrook out there, you're going to see a lot more Anthony Davis at the five, but you could still use a big body and Dwight Howard can certainly do that. He can be a physical presence there and take a little bit of the burden off of Anthony Davis of dealing with the physical play in the post but it doesn't stop there that's right it keeps going and these are the two guys I might be the most excited about on this whole list Jeff Green and Goran Dragic I like both of these guys as fits for the Lakers now I will say that between Patty Mills and Dragic I, I think one of those guys is probably going to get the taxpayer mid-level I don't think you're getting both of them Dragic, again, he's probably only available if the Miami Heat don't land one of their targets. A guy like, say, a Kyle Lowry, if they get him, then maybe Goran would indeed be a target for the Lakers. But he's a guy who can play on or off the ball, has good size. Again, he's lost a little bit of a step, but can shoot from outside, can handle the basketball, extremely versatile. And then Jeff Green as well. Look, he's probably earned a payday bigger than the veteran minimum, but if he is at the veteran minimum price, you take him all day, every day. Extremely versatile player. Somebody who can play the four or the five, can shoot from outside. Loved what he did with the Brooklyn Nets. I think he could give the Lakers a very switchy defense when you put in players like him alongside Anthony Davis, LeBron James. That's quite a long and lanky front court that teams will have to deal with. So again, when we're talking about this list, these are all players that are into their 30s at this point, but that is what should be expected. You're looking at ring chasers, guys who are probably more talented than the veteran minimum. They should get paid a little bit more, but they're willing to sacrifice some money in exchange for a chance to win a championship. 
with the Lakers. I like that there's a nice variety here too. You've got guards, you've got wings, you've got a big in Dwight Howard. That's going to give the Lakers a lot of different ways that they can build this thing out. Now, of course, not every single one of these players is going to wind up on the roster. The Lakers still have to look to bring back, you know, Alex Caruso, Taylor Horton Tucker. Let's not forget. They can also bring back, say, a Wes Matthews, Markeith Morris, guys like that can still return to the fold. But I like the players that are on this list a lot. I think this is some of the top guys that are going to be on the market in terms of players who might be willing to accept the veteran minimum in exchange for a shot at a championship. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Out of all of those players, which ones do you really hope wind up in purple and gold? Fire it off in the comments down below. And don't forget, subscribe right here to the Lakers Nation YouTube channel and ring that notification bell. Till next time, stay safe and see ya.